Hey guys, welcome back to Behind the Feast. So today, we're talking about the Tilta Mirage. Specifically, we're talking about its variable ND system, and if it does actually work with a Tilta Nucleus Nano, you can buy it with its proprietary motor system. It's definitely a little more expensive, but then I saw that they actually sold it without the motor, and with this adapter that lets you attach the Tilta Nucleus Nano motor to it and be able to control it with this right here. Is this a good cost-cutting alternative? The answer might disappoint you. So to start, let's talk about what comes in the nice carrying case they give you. Now the first thing you'll find is your map box that'll already have the filter tray on it for 95 millimeter filters. That way if you own any of your own filters, you can throw them in with perfect ease. Then comes your filter pouch that will contain your variable ND filter that will be the exact same shape as that filter tray so you can swap them in and out. This pouch also comes with plenty of slots for any of your own filters you want to throw in there as well. That way you can keep everything together. So this map box is designed for lenses that are about 95 millimeter thread. So if you have cinema lenses that are that size, it'll clip right on. Otherwise, if you have lenses that are 67, 72, or 77, or 82, your carrying case will come with four step-up filters for all those different sizes. So that way you can slap the map box right on those lenses with perfect ease. If not, you also have the 15 millimeter rod support it'll come with. So if you're using this rod support, just make sure there's no light leaks from behind if you're using the filter. It will show up as weird lens flares. I've dealt with it before. So the variable ND filter as it ships will come with a finger dial on it initially. This is where you would screw on the Tilta Nucleus Nano adapter that also comes with it. Now this adapter screws onto the top right side and has a small little 15 millimeter rail on it that you can attach your motor onto. This way, when you adjust the follow focus, it'll spin this little dial attached to the finger dial and it'll adjust the ND that way. This is a pretty smart design so far, although I quickly found one flaw. So the Tilta Nucleus Nano Motor is powered via micro USB, which isn't a problem, I have plenty of those cables. The problem is the way it's designed, it's on the top right side, so that means that when the motor is on there, it is facing outward. So unless you have an L-shaped cable, you cannot do it with the map box on there. I was able to get it to run by taking the map box off since the map box does clip off, but of course, then you introduce lens flares and then you lose the benefit of this awesome map box you have. So this caused me a lot of frustration because I was unable to get my motor to run with the map box on there as well. So I searched through all the cables in my RS2 bag. I searched through all the cables in my Tilta Nucleus Nano bag. I even went into my old Ronin SC bag and I couldn't find anything that worked. I only found one cable that worked but it protruded out and required me not to use my map box. The first thing I did was I went on to B&H, I found an L-shaped cable for the Tilta Nucleus Nano and ordered it. Once it arrived, it didn't work. No matter what I did, the motor would not turn on. So then I figured, okay, I just grabbed a cable online, my mistake. Let me go to Tilta Support, tell them about the issue and see what they have for me. And they had a specific RS2 cable for an L-shaped micro USB that they recommended for me. So I'm like, oh cool, so I bought that. Then I plugged it in, it also didn't work. So then I went on to the DJI ecosystems page and I got a few ideas or a few cables that people said worked for them. But at this point, I was very nervous about buying another cable and having it not worked because at this point, I was kind of getting to the point where I felt like I, was, I had spent more than I intended to spend on this project. So then I caved and I bought the Tilta Mirage motor that would have come with it initially. Still not getting the hand control unit because I can pair the Tilta Nucleus Nano motor to it, but at this point, I just could not find a way to make it work and I didn't want to mess around with more L-shaped cables that may or may not work. So once I got in the new motor and hooked it up and got everything set up, everything worked perfectly as intended. I was able to attach the Nano to my Steadicam. I was able to dial in my exposure adjustments without even touching the aperture and the footage was beautiful. I mean, that's what I think. You can tell me for yourself. As you can see, the Tilta Mirage is a fantastic product. The footage looks amazing, the ability to adjust the ND was incredible, and I just had a great time on that first shoot using it, along with other shoots since then. But at the beginning of this video, I asked a question, was buying it for the Tilta Nucleus Nano a cost-saving measure that worked? Well, let's do the math. So I'm gonna do this without shipping costs because shipping costs can vary, and if I try to check it right now during Christmas season, I'm probably gonna get a higher shipping cost than I would have gotten previously. So when I got the Tilta Mirage without the motor, it was on sale for about $313.65. And so right there, that's significantly cheaper than the $549 that the Tilta Mirage is with the motor and the hand controller. 
But the first cable I bought, that ended up being about $30. And then the second cable I got from Tilta was about $10. And then the motor that actually worked that I bought was about $149, putting it at $501.65. So in the end, I only really saved about 50 bucks trying to get this running, which is better than nothing, but it wasn't as good as I hoped. So I guess what I, want, what I hope you guys can learn from the video is that doing this with the Tilta nu Nucleus Nano, unless you can find the right cable and hunt for the right cable, it's probably better just to get the advertised motor because the way that motor functions, the cable is in a much more optimal place for the whole thing to function. And if you want to follow my steps, and do it without the mistake of buying the two wrong cables, you can spend $369 on the Tilta Mirage without the motor, and then just buy the motor separately for $149, totaling for $518, saving you about 30 bucks. Or if you don't wanna go through the hassle, you can always get the full version as well, because this is a great product. I don't wanna harp on it too much because I had a great time with it. It's done great work for me. There was just some design flaws on the nano adapter that caused me a lot of frustration. And if I can help you guys avoid that frustration, I would love to help you guys with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review slash tiny rant on the Tilta Mirage and nano adapter. If you guys have any comments or anything, please leave them down below, especially if you guys have any cables that worked for you, any L-shaped cables or any way you're able to get it running. I'd love for the comment section to be a good place for advice or links to potential things that could help people get this running especially if anybody out there is currently going through this issue and has found ways around it. I'd love for this video to help those people out. Also, if you guys liked the video, definitely give it a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications, and I will see you on the next one.